So this is my second prototype for a dart flinger. As you can see, this one is drastically different than my previous video. So the previous video was called um, an underpowered Nerf dart flinger. That's because of the gearing I had used in there and the thing. Go check it out. You'll see. But it was absolutely pathetic uh, as far as launching darts. But it was really cool as a piece of engineering. So this is just running two direct drive motors in the two barrels. The one set of gears that are there are simply used as synchronization gears just to keep everything running at the same speed. Running it off of, uh, I think this is a 9 volt anyways, let's just double check that. Yeah, 400 milliamp. Uh, okay, so let's plug this uh, thing in and Like it takes a few moments to get up to speed. So there it is, just humming away. <laughs> yeah, okay. Um. If they don't go in quite straight, that's what happens. So it's got a... Uh, it's good enough. It is definitely good enough. It's not like ultra high powered or anything, but... We'll just collect up some of these darts. Plug it here. Three, two, one. So those gears have a really nice mesh on them. They're not going to bind ever, and they're not going to strip. I guess I could have put a maybe another tenth. Uh, this is actually the second version of this plate that I made. Uh, the first one was very simple. Uh, the holes here are four tenths of a millimeter closer together than they are here. And that caused a tight fitting between the gears. And that consequently made them bind and they wouldn't spin. So an additional four tenths actually seemed like a pretty big move. Let's see the slop. Yeah, it's a little bit. I should have gone maybe, I don't know, between two tenths, maybe three tenths, but four is definitely too much. So, yeah, learning. Anyways, let's just crank this beast back up because it's fun to listen to it spin up. What I really like about this, though, is that it doesn't really slow down a much. As long as the dart goes in straight, it doesn't slow down a lot. It's not compressing the darts very much. All right, it doesn't need to compress them because it's got a good grip on there, and it just, whing. So that worked out well. Okay. Now what do I do with it, now that I've got this thing? <laughs> Uh, 
All right, toodles.